But what a scandal! Montfleury! The great Montfleury! Did you know the Duke of Candel was his patron? Who is yours? No one. No one? No patron? I said no. What? No great lord to cover with his name? No. I have told you twice. Must I repeat? No, sir. No patron. But a patroness. And when do you leave Paris? That's as may be. The Duke of Candel has a long arm. Mine is longer, by three feet of steel. Yes, yes, but you dream of daring. I do dream of daring, but you may go now, but you may go. Or tell me, why are you staring at my nose? No, I. Does it astonish you? Your grace misunderstands my. Is it long and soft and dangling like a trunk? I never said, or crooked, like an owl's beak. I, perhaps a pimple ornaments the end of it. No, or a fly parading up and down. What is this portent? Oh, this phenomenon. But I have been careful not to look. And why not, if you please? Why? It disgusts you, then. My dear sir, does its color appear to you unwholesome? Oh, by no means. Or its form obscene? Not in the least. Then why assume this deprecating manner? Possibly you find it just a trifle large. Oh, no, small. Very small. Infinitesimal. What? How? You accuse me of absurdity? Small. My nose. Why? My God. Magnificent, my nose. You pug. You knob. You buttonhead. Know that I glory in this nose of mine. For a great nose indicates a great man. Genial. Courteous. Intellectual. Virile. Courageous, as I am. And such as you, poor wretch, will never dare to be, even in imagination. For that face, that blank, inglorious concavity, which my right hand finds out on top of you, is as devoid of pride, of poetry, of soul, of picturesqueness, of contour, of character, in short, of nose.